All right, good evening everyone. Tonight for dinner, Tank is making alkaline stuffed peppers. We have our peppers here de-seeded, our black rice in the back. We are gonna use purple onion, white onion, mushroom, shallot, some tomato paste, and we have our <clears throat> skillet over here heating up with grapeseed oil. We're also gonna use cayenne powder, onion powder, and sea salt so we will let you see what we have when we get the peppers stuffed all right okay guys what you're looking at are our brazil nuts we are going to make brazil nut cheese to add as a topping to our peppers and to also incorporate in the skillet where tank has our other mixture so right now I'm about to blend and make cheese from Brazil nuts. So this is how our Brazil nut cheese turned out. Um, actually, it's really good. It tastes like the actual nut. I'm going to add a pinch of sea salt to it because by taste, and we're cooking by taste, um, I feel like it needs a pinch of salt. And I'm going to blend it again and reserve half a cup for the mixture and half a cup to top the peppers with. Just wanted to show you all what the Brazil nut cheese came out like. Very light, not salty at all. Um, like I said, we added some, a pinch of course sea salt to him. And this is how our cheese sauce came out. So here is our pot of boiling water that Tank got started. I'm just going to submerge the peppers in here. We have one orange and one red that were starting to get a little wrinkly. We got a floating seed in there. So we'll let these boil for a little bit. Supposedly that makes them a little tender. I'd like to show what Tank is over here mixing up. This is how our filling is turning out in the skillet. You see? That lighting that's our mixture so far and that's gonna stuff our peppers she put the wild rice in there we're coming at them with some Brazil nut cheese and some tomato paste all right pretty impressed with this, this is a quick meal stuffed peppers um, we topped it with tomato paste and our Brazil nut cheese and I sprinkled a little sweet basil on top just for added decoratives. We're gonna put him in the oven on 350 for about 30 minutes. And Tank and I are the only two eating this. The kids have homemade spaghetti tonight. So these are two peppers. We're probably gonna split them in half and make like little boats. And we still have some topping left. So these are gonna go in the oven on 350 for 30 minutes. Show you when we plate them up. All right, the finished product, you guys. I'm like scared to grab it with the tongs. <laughs> tongs and a spatula, probably. But anyway, here are our completed stuffed peppers. Amazing. Uh, we bake these on 350 for what, babe? 30 minutes? 25 to 30 minutes. So we're going to plate them up. All right, guys, so we got them plated up. This whole process took less than, or about 30 minutes to cook. Mm -hmm. Here are our stuffed peppers for tonight's dinner. And bon appetit. Peace. Thanks for watching.